In today's video, I'm gonna compare one of the newest premium premium barbecues in Las Vegas to one of the cheapest and local favorite Korean barbecue places in Vegas, which is almost hidden and difficult to find because of the name and an unbeatable price, $16.99 for all you can eat any day, any time. Kalbi or the Kalbi in Korean. This is the new Korean barbecue located in Henderson. It's still only 15 20 minutes from the resort quarter on the strip, so it's not very far. This restaurant's designed beautifully, and what I love about it is it has big tables, enough to seat six very comfortably has very high ceilings, very modern and artistic design. It's a very nice atmosphere and their food looked very attractive from the pictures. Each table had a nice charcoal grill with an exhaust fan system right over the grill to take the smoke right out, had very good ventilation. And if you're still not familiar with the Korean barbecue process, you're presented with complimentary sides which are refillable unlimited and if you have further questions the servers would gladly answer your questions the grill here had a little area outside of the grill where they put little vegetables in there and they cooked while you were eating your meats my favorite was the cheese corn and they had different types of grill tops for the different types of meats I'll discuss the prices and the menu more near the end of this segment. And like a lot of premium places, the servers will grill the meats for you. But I communicated to the server that I would rather do it myself because I like to eat at my own pace. These are thinly sliced beef brisket. They contain a little bit of fat for the flavor that the fat provides and they're sliced while frozen and that explains why they curl up sometimes. But it works really well on these grills. It cooks in a matter of seconds and they come with a, just a natural beef taste usually accompanied by salt, pepper and sesame oil. And this is just cubed beef with no seasoning. I'm not exactly sure what it's called on their menu. It was okay. It wasn't spectacular, but it was okay. But I love grilled beef, especially right off the hot grill. And most times I just need salt and pepper. Here is their steamed egg. This is one of the fluffiest steamed eggs that I've ever had at a Korean barbecue. And it was good. It was pretty good. Very light and fluffy, cooked with scallions. And this is their ribeye. They call it the ribeye steak. I have my doubts. I didn't quite see the marbling. Hey, maybe I'm wrong. But uh, how was it? It was pretty decent. It's not steakhouse quality ribeye. A little thin. I didn't really see the marbling like I normally do on a ribeye. And it's not a steakhouse. You're not gonna get a fork and knife with this either. Uh, the Koreans will give you a culinary scissors along with tongs. Okay, this is their signature marinated ribeye. This is the premium cut at Korean barbecues. It's a thick block of a short rib that's cut and made into a long thin strip. Sometimes it's scored and it's marinated in the Korean barbecue sauce. The Korean marinade is usually kind of sweet. If you don't like sweet marinades, you're better off just getting the regular beef that's not marinated. But this is a very premium cut, very flavorful with the fat, extremely tender. It's a delicious bite. Some places even limit you to one order because it's really expensive and priced. I think at this place, all of the combos that we got only offered one piece. Now these take some time to prepare. They spent a long time in the marinade. You can see the color that it has changed from soaking up all that marinade. And this is a premium presentation. This is scored and it's 
cut and prepared. This is gonna be very tender and savory sweet. I just wish they wouldn't limit you on how much you can have. The menu here does not have an all you can eat option. It's a la carte. And besides the a la carte menu, they have either a beef combination package or a pork combination package. We only got the beef combination package. This is a different type of short rib and there is a difference. This one's a little bit more tough, not as tender or sweet as the other one. Unlike the long strip before, these are just cut pieces of the short rib and the sweetness and the flavor of the marinade is more subtle. At the end of the meal, some of the combination packages come with a complimentary noodle soup. This is the traditional Korean knife noodle soup. It's supposed to be cut with the knife. Um, this one seemed more like uh, processed and the quality was just so-so. I'm glad they had another noodle soup dish because I wasn't quite full. I'm not sure if it's because I'm used to eating all you can eat buffet style Korean barbecues but I feel like I didn't have my fill of meat I felt like for the price of the combination packages the quantity of the meat was a little bit too small for me there were a few things in this experience that left me just a little bit unsatisfied number one the side dishes that come out if, if there's a party of six people you can't bring out one spoonful I know that the side dishes are refillable, unlimited portions. However, when you have a party of six and they bring out one spoonful, it makes it a little difficult. Here is the a la carte version of the menu and here are the combination packages. But for the premium cuts of meat, I guess it's what's expected. The beef combos came out to about uh, almost 40, 45 per person. The pork combos may be 30, 35 a person. And if you didn't know, in Korean restaurants where you have a party of six or more, 18% gratuity will be added automatically. Beware. On to the next place. This place is called Tofu Hut. Are you kidding me? Tofu Hut? Who would think that in a place called Tofu Hut, you'd find some of the cheapest Korean barbecue anywhere? This place is right near Las Vegas Boulevard and Spring Mountain. This place has been here for years. It's not big and locals know this place as one of the go-to places because they were open late. They had great prices. They're so popular that it's really hard to get seats during peak hours. So you have to come early and expect to wait 30 minutes to an hour. If you come right when they open, you might be lucky and get a table, but you never can tell. With an all-day special at $16.99 for all-you-can-eat Korean barbecue, it's a very popular place. It's almost like a hidden secret place because of the name. A lot of people wouldn't come here unless they know about it or heard about it. It's almost something that I don't want to share because I don't want to wait longer next time I go back. But this place is really good. It's, it's not going to have the premium style meats, but it's very comfortable here. Because for one thing, for under 20 bucks, you're going to get all you can eat side dishes, salads. You're going to get the marinated beef ribs. You're going to get the uh, brisket. You're going to have pork belly or any type of cuts of pork. They have chicken. They have seafood. They have salads. All the sides, unlimited. You can get all this for $16.99 all day special. But how's the quality? It's pretty good. It's really good. In fact, the marinated short ribs, I would say is one of the best. It's boneless, very easy to eat. They don't have a fancy grill, but it does the job. And it's really good at an affordable price.
mentioned before that you're not going to get a fork and knife. Uh, they might have some, just never really asked for it. You're going to get a culinary pair of scissors and tongs. And it works well. You just hold the meat up with the tongs and you just cut it with your scissors. Now the premium cuts of meat at the other place was good. However, this doesn't fall much short of that quality there. Um, for me, I couldn't tell that much of a difference. A little bit. The meats here were really good. The marinade is superb. Everything was pretty comparable, I would say. Uh, the other place did have some higher quality cuts of the brisket, the thin slices. But you know what? This place doesn't fall too far behind. What does fall far below the other place is the cost of the bill. It's a lot cheaper here. This place has their signature tofu soup. This is what they were originally named after, is their tofu soup. They also have steamed eggs here like the other place. Um, the soup that I got was not part of the all you can eat. It was an add-on for about $10. But the steamed egg was good and not as fluffy as the other place, but yeah, I mean, pretty similar. Let me get into the tofu soup for a little bit here. A lot of people would like to have tofu or would like to eat tofu for the health benefits, but it has no taste and tofu comes in a variety of different forms, firm, medium, soft, silken, but tofu has no taste. Uh, but when you present it like this, this is the silky soft tofu. It's so soft, the texture is incredibly soft. It's served in a soup with your choice of seafood or beef. And that tofu soup is incredibly good. That's how you eat tofu, because it actually has a taste. It's a surprisingly good quality place that the locals flock to and this place has been busy and popular for years and years and years. So those are the two opposite ends of the spectrum that I wanted to show you. You can go to get the premium cuts and some of the premium places are really good but it's going to cost a lot more. So I guess it depends on what you're in the mood for. If you want nice ambiance, uh, a nice atmosphere with some good cuts of meat, then you can pay for that. But if you want to get a good deal, you want to go to Tofu Hut. It's not a big place, but it's really good and you feel like you got a bargain. So everybody, I hope that will give you a couple more choices. So until next time, stay safe and we'll see you again.